untap your full potential with the untapped deck tracker. Both the in-game overlay and the personal stats provide a lot of value. Download it for free today using the link below and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time. Pack one, pick one. Reclamation is an interesting build around. Could always go with a Rampaging Ferocidon. I don't think Aetherborn is an incentive to go mono black. I guess maybe a Castle Lockthwain is more than Aetherborn. Yeah, to go mono black you would need to open like Phyrexian Obliterator, for instance. That's a reason to go mono black. I'll try Reclamation. It's the only card that's been banned out of this pack, I believe, so. That's my new metric. Pack one, pick one, only cards that have been banned. Alright, so. Reclamation's good with Settler Wreckage, it's good with Spectral Sailor, it's good with Warrant Warden to an extent. So I think Sailor has a, the most natural synergy with Reclamation, followed by probably Settler Wreckage. Yeah, Sailor's just a great mana sink with Reclamation. Like, this can be good, but we're just not going to get a ton of other flash cards as a problem. Could take a Fetid Pulse, because we might go Sultai, and then hope to wheel like a Fatal Push or Doomblade. Seems okay. Not super high on Sphinx. Yeah, Fetid Pulse, hope to wheel one of the black removal spells, seems fine. Thassa's Intervention makes sense, and there's Brainstorm. How good is Brainstorm going to be in this deck? Probably good, but not great. Let's take Intervention. Triome would also be reasonable. Maybe Electrolyze if we end up kind of Teamer instead of uh, Sultai. But Intervention we're going to play for sure. Okay. I like Maze Mind Tome, Fabled Passage, Watery Grave, Castle. So there's a lot of good ones. Fabled Passage and Tome are, you know, going to be great no matter what. I guess so is Castle, but I think I have Passage and Tome over Castle. Watery Grave is more speculative. We're probably going to get more card draw in blue. So maybe I don't need to prioritize Tome. Tome is better in, I guess, a more controlling deck that's not blue. So we'll get our mana sorted. There's Memory Lapse, Dual Land, Fastwood Surge. Probably don't need Folio as a win condition, can probably find something else. Uh, Surge is good with Reclamation because it puts more lands in play. Probably go with Pathway over Memory Lapse. Lapse is good, but counter spells are somewhat replaceable, whereas mana fixing is harder to get. Probably not going to use Mimic for much. There's also Mizzix Mastery, which honestly shouldn't be in the pack 7th pick. But didn't really see myself going red. Crawling Baron's also a good mana sink. So it's probably between the two colorless lanes. Mastery, I would really want to be able to overload, so it's difficult to splash. It's probably not amazing for just 4 mana. I think I take Baron's over Blast soon. There's not a ton of one drops where Blast Zone would be at its best. Magma Quake can be a nice sweeper too, although I, I do like Beanstalk a decent amount. There's also some Petal Grove in case we wanted to go white instead of black. But Beanstalk's just like a solid card. Its ramp puts extra land in play for Reclamation and gives us a win condition later. It's not, you know, broken, but it's probably fine. Some Petal Grove could be okay, especially if we wheel Settle the Wreckage, but people usually like that card too much. Omen's great. Waker could be fine, Warrant Warden could be okay. Could also take a boon to cycle or cast.
Probably not gonna play any of these. Maybe we'll play Crippling Fear if we need a Sweeper in black. Although Electrolyze is also tempting. Alright, Watery Grave is nice now. So yeah, pretty good first pack. Got good mana fixing, Reclamation, some ramp, some instant speed plays. Don't know if I'll play Folio, but it's an option. Am I playing Liliana? Probably not. Alright, second pack. Probably go with a Disallow. Having a few counters is still important. And then we can try to wheel maybe a Temple of Deceit, Nightmare. Some of these green creatures could be fine. Comet Memory is decent. Wolfful of Haven is decent. Those are the two cards that jump out. With this figure, something we can maybe hope to wheel. Let's go with a Comet Memory, and then we might wheel the Haven. Ooh, don't know if I'm going to be able to pass up Sublime Epiphany. Hinterland Harbor is also tempting, but let's have some fun. I like Spring to Mind, it's kind of like a better Beanstalk Giant in this deck, because Mind we can also cast at instant speed. And then Pathway would be another nice one. Don't know if we need such more Witch in this deck, probably not. Oracle could also be a win condition, but this seems pretty great. Okay, more good options. Thraktusk, just a good beefy creature. Nice to copy with Sublime Epiphany. Otherwise I could take a Florahedron or a Visionary as early ramp. Visionary is not as good as ramp that puts extra lands in play because of Reclamation, but of course we're not always going to draw Reclamation. All right, I'll take the Visionary, it's just a good value play as well. Alrighty, Teferi seems good. Could take a Vraska as well. Both Planeswalkers are reasonable. And there's a Thirst. We're not going to be sacrificing much to Vraska. I think I prefer Teferi at that point. This isn't my first time being the hero. Okay. I love an Into the Royal here and a Heartless Act. Which one is better? Probably Heartless Act. Need some hard removal. Also, the flexibility of Into the Royal is great too. Uh, interventions and instants. Seems good. I think I'm gonna play black. We have quite a bit of fixing for it. And it does offer a nice angle that we otherwise don't cover in blue-green. Coggle is fine. Maybe I'll play a disfigure. Inscriptions, okay. I'm not going to be short on playables, that's for sure. Do I want Scholar of Frost? Maybe. Probably more than Oracle. That's a pretty late Magda, too. Uh, probably not going to play Augur, but we'll see. Last pack. I like Surveyor, I like Find Finality. 
Those are kind of the cars that jump out. I think it might be Surveyor. And then hope to wheel find finality. Which, you know, being a multicolor card, there's a decent chance it does. Languish would give us another sweeper. There's Thief of Sanity. Shieldred I kind of like too. Think Twice would be great. There's a lot of goodies. It's not a great hench deck. So it's Languish versus Thief versus Shieldred. We do have a bit of ramp with Visionary Spring to Mind and Beanstalk. Although it's not something we can play at instant speed. And we don't have a ton of creatures to get back with Shieldred. So it's between Thief and Languish. Thief is a more fun option. Especially if we wheel Find Finality, we probably don't need three sweepers. Well, Counterspell seems good. Ooh, hello there. Gear Hulk plus Sublime Epiphany, anyone? Trix could be good, Pathway seems good too. I think I prefer Pathway. Especially now with the Thief of Sanity, we need to be able to cast it early. Probably not a ramp through deck. Polychronos also an option. Might still wheel something out of that pack. Baleful Mastery over Supreme Will seems okay. Have a few counter spells already. Probably take the mauling, both a land and a spell. Uh, don't think we need to play Thought Seize. Sensor's good. Chandra's Edict is a sorcery, so it's kind of awkward. I'll take a sensor. Chase is still going to be pretty tricky to cast. Archmage could be okay, it's a little on the slow side. Yeah, I don't think Inscription does enough for us. We need more early creatures to leverage the fight ability. Did wheel both Languish and Think Twice. We did not wheel the uh, Find Finality, so maybe I need Languish. Although Think Twice is kind of perfect with Reclamation. Nah, now that we have Torrential Gear Hulk as late game, I don't mind an extra sweeper. This doesn't matter too much. Yeah, maybe we'll play Pact. Yeah, we ended up more blue-black splash green in a way. Yeah, let's have a look here. I could cut Kogla. Triple green might be a bit rough. And this figures maybe. Didn't think I need folio. Okay, yeah, maybe cut visionary. Inscriptions and maybe archmages and maybe cut the sphinx. Yeah, could cut will. It's not the best card draw effect. The discounts can be relevant. Yeah, I can probably cut Visionary. Still like Spring to Mind on the Splash, because it's kind of perfect with Reclamation. Beanstalk we don't have to play, but I'm kind of worried that we're low on win conditions. So it's still probably fine. And then... Do I need this figure? 
Our deck's gonna be pretty bad against aggro anyway. Don't know if a disfigure's gonna change that. We have two sweepers, so I don't think I need this figure. Looks like the fairy stays. Alright, and then the mana base. So, just a touch of green. We have one, two, three, and then six green. It's not a lot. So, I might need to add a few forests. I do need double blue. And I do need double black, so the mana's a little rough. Crawling Barons is a bit greedy. Do I have the Hagra Mauling as an extra black source too? Eight, nine black. Can maybe cut a swamp, especially because the green helps me get double black. And then six, seven, eight ish blue. So the blue's fine. I can probably cut two swamps for two forests, or one swamp for one forest, just to get my mana fixing sorted. Surveyor also helps. I don't need double green is the only problem, so drawing too many forests can be awkward. And let's do it like this. Four, five, six, seven green plus scattering surveyor should be enough. It's not perfect, but it's okay for a cube deck. This ends fine. Assuming we can find a third land. And we could have still cast this for two if needed. Probably go for swamp number two. Good target for Baleful Mastery. Probably still keep up this allow. Take three and then Mastery end of turn. Yeah, it's worth countering. And then we'll just ambush with Thrix instead. Languish is also good. That's fine. Alright, fair enough. So we got Gear Hulk on Disallow available. Which is pretty strong. Could have also disallowed the History trigger, but we've got a language to clean those up. Could have ambushed, would rather counter something here. Now Shepard also dies to Languish. So maybe I don't need to uh, do anything here. Let's just Omen. And those are both good. So next turn I could Languish, but I wouldn't have the mana to also Thief, which would be the dream sequence. So maybe I need to Bottom Memory, although Commit Memory with Geralt is also pretty sweet. So if I only keep the Thief and draw land. I could languish into Thief, although it has to be a black source specifically. So it's pretty unlikely. Yeah, I think we probably bottom the Thief at that point. And then the question is whether we keep Commit or bottom both. Commit's pretty flexible still, so I think I like keeping it. I guess I also could have scryed with omens, so I did have a few extra looks at whatever we wanted, but... Alright, so... Might as well attack first. If they block, they shouldn't block with Shepard because of Crippling Fear, so blocking with the 2-2 two -two makes the most sense. 
And now we still have sensor up, so it could come in handy. I will cycle sensor if they don't play into it. Sailor's nice, so yeah, we'll pass. Probably take three and then try and gear hulk disallow something. Sure. Fair enough. Commit. Bouncing the Banishing Light lets me replay Gear Hulk cast Memory. That's pretty cool. Yeah, Memory's a sorcery, but Gear Hulk can target Commit Memory because it, the Commit half is an instant and then you can still choose to cast Memory. So it's a weird loophole. And then I can still cast a 2 mana Baleful Master if I want as well. Yeah. Seems fine. So we'll wait for them to attack. So target banishing lights. And then in response, I'm going to want to get a land. I don't think the opponent even played a land yet for the turn, so if they went straight to combat they could have gotten punished a bit here. Although probably doesn't matter too much in the grand scheme of things. I can still redraw my Gear Hulk now. <laughs> and there it is. Alright, and do I want to trade? Sure. Don't know if I'm going to use Sailor much. Eh, maybe I am. All right, we'll keep up our instance. Can always draw with the sailor. I will take two. Maybe should have attacked since I wasn't necessarily planning to block. A surveyor can trade for blood mage as well. Clarion spirits is annoying, but that resolves. And there's a ranger, probably still worth countering. I guess I'll pay too, it doesn't matter. Actually it does. They could have a mana tithe. Mm, 
now what's next? Can Hagra mauling the Clarion Spirit, play Surveyor, and keep up a two mana mastery still. Opponent's down to three cards, we still have a Sailor to draw. And a Gearhulk to replay removal spell. Yeah, there's no way to prevent it from exiling. Thief is nice. Thassa's intervention not going to work here. Part of me also could have potentially considered just not playing the Thief, going for the Gearhulk play this turn, they might kill the Gearhulk and then have Thief, but we'll go with this approach. I guess we should have killed the rider and blocked the apparition to prevent a life gain. Um, yeah, we're in a bit of trouble here, but we'll see. Could use a bit of card draw right about now. That's two pretty good plays. Yeah. Can exile the Stone Coil. And then Gearhulk still trades for Aetherborn. But I'm gonna die to the Spirit Token. The Fairy helps. Could still plus the fairy to maybe find an instance. So those are going face. Can chum the Aetherborn with a 1-1, one, one, take one. Think I plus with the fairy. Try and find a sublime epiphany. Crippling Fear doesn't quite do it, does it? I die to the Bastion. And I've already used my Urbos' intervention. No, I can only phase out creatures, I can't phase out Bastion. So I got a plus with the Fairy. Try and find a, an Epiphany, pretty much. I mean, I, I could survive by phasing out a creature and casting Crippling Fear, but I don't see it how that wins me the game. No 
All right, there we go. Now we're talking. Should maybe plus first to try and get a counter spell as backup. Although if this fails, and this is a bit of a weird attack, because we can just minus the ferry now too. Yeah, I could just phase out and wait. I think I prefer that actually. And then wait for them to cast another spell and then go for Epiphany. Oh yes. Could even counter the trigger from Banishing Light. Don't know if there's an advantage to doing that. It's just fancy play, probably not worth it. Counter, return, token, draw. Target a spell, banishing lights. Target a non-land permanent. Which one is this? Returning. So, probably bounce the token. And then, copy the gear hulk. And draw. That works. And then go for Epiphany again. Turn. Alright. Put on packs it in. Yeah, we had lethal here if they didn't have anything else. And there's a Thief of Sanity on the play, missing black mana. But we do have Spring to find black, so... Ideally, we draw into it by turn 3. If not, it's a turn 4 Thief. Green-white. And a Stone Coil for 2. Yeah, that's a pretty good answer to Thief. Although we can clear a path with either Intervention or Heartless Acts. So next turn they get two counters. Or three counters, rather. So if they make a 5-5 five, five Serpent, I'm gonna have a hard time killing it with either Intervention or Heartless Act. I guess I can still get it with Intervention if we draw land next turn, but that's no guarantee. Uh, they're probably going to keep the thing on defense. I don't have double black to Heartless Act and Intervention, so yeah, if I play Thief, then I could get in trouble with this Iron Games. I think I gotta wait and then just kill the thing in response. And we'll see what they go for here. Serpent. Do we want a Heartless Act or Intervention? I'm feeling Intervention and then Sailor as well. Alright, so that was a good sequence. Opponent's not going to get to draw from the third chapter now. And we clear the path for Thief, which can come out next turn. Don't think I need to trade. Epiphany could be great too. Alright. Let's hope for no removal. Yeah, that's a pretty good answer for it. Yeah, 
now we're a little sad. At least Stone Coil not a threatening creature for them to get back. Attack for one and pass. Heartless Egg gonna be more expensive, sure. Probably just gonna draw with the Sailor anyway. Kogla, I probably need to kill in response, although is this a human? It is. That's annoying. Means they can use the gold they just received to make Kogla indestructible. And killing Kogla means they also get it back with Conqueror's Death anyway. So I probably need to let the Sailor go. And then I'll just draw. Could actually be better to use Barons to block the 1-1, one -one, but then they're just not gonna attack. So we'll draw. Yeah, because killing the 1-1 one -one means they can make Kogla indestructible in the future, which could come up. Ooh, the Wombo combo. Inspector plus Kogla, but now they're tapped out. Although, again, there's a Conqueror's Death, so you have to wait for them to be tapped out again and then kill Kogla. It's gonna be tricky. So they get a 1 1 Stone Coil. Yeah. My Conqueror's Death Code is good. Guess we animate Crawling Barons here. And then do I block Inspector or the token? If I block Inspector, they probably bounce it. But it's a sort of forced play in a way. Probably the token. Sure. Okay. Yeah, they seem to be keeping this interaction in mind, so I would doubt that the opponent taps out of Kogla's ability here to sack a clue token. But that would be kind of the best case scenario for us. Alright, they did tap out. So now we can kill Kogla. Not end of turn because it was indestructible, although Baleful Mastery also would have worked. But yeah, now we can Heartless Act and keep Mastery around. Yeah, these are two clues and one gold token, which is essentially a treasure, but not enough for two mana. Okay, we even have Epiphany up. Approach of the Second Sun. First copy resolves, second copy we want to counter. Harvest gonna dig closer towards Approach. Finds a Mirari's Wake, that's also kind of a must counter. Guess we'll pass. Primal Command. I guess we can animate the Barons to fizzle it, yeah?
Mm, that's fine. And then end of turn, I can animate again, or I can cycle sensor. Although it's possible I end up countering an approach with a sensor here. Four, five, six, seven, eight. They've, they've got eight mana, so it's unlikely to work out. This is more mana efficient, though. Problem is, I'm kind of stuck on blue, so I wouldn't mind finding some more goodies. Could also Baleful Mastery one of the creatures. Um, yeah, and then keep Sensor for approach. Mm, seems unlikely to work out. I think I just cycle. Alright. Surveyor's not bad. Get an island, and then probably play the island instead of Watery Grave, so I can Epiphany if needed. And then I can also cast Mines, so we've got some options. I can use Intervention on Approach. Great Hench, that's a good one too. Opponent has too many must counter cards. So... Probably go for Epiphany now. Yeah, I don't know if I can beat Great Henge in a longer game. Don't really want to bounce anything, do I? That's a fine mastery target. An approach on top. We can probably counter it with Supreme Will. So let's intervention the wake. Yeah, Supreme Will is a bit sketchy, but I can't counter the wake, and if they have wake, they can pay for whatever I do here, so. Uh, so they've got four mana, so I qu X equals three at the very least. Yeah, if they have a land in hand, they could pay for the Supreme Will next turn. So in a way, it could also be correct to mastery one of the mana creatures. But they don't seem to be slow rolling any lands. Don't have many lands left. How much is this Dragon Scar Elite gonna hurt us? It is still kind of a long-term problem too. I don't think I can afford to mastery the druid here. Alright, let's hope they just cast it and don't have a land. Yeah, I can always cycle Supreme Will for an actual counterspell if they do have a land. Yeah, uh, this is a problem. Yeah, I mean, two flyers are going to kill me next turn. So I have to counter it. And then I gotta hope Mind takes me towards something useful. Or I can try and find a Languish and then just cast Mind here. Because I need, I still need Supreme Will for this second sun, otherwise I lose on the spot. So I think the play is just let that resolve, Mind, hope to find a Sweeper. And 
and then since I'm looking for a language, I might as well jump. Yeah, Gear Hulk might also be enough. So I might as well do this first. Maybe I should have cast Mind of Response. And then I could Supreme Will to dig for. I mean, we don't have many cards left here, so there's still a Languish there. And a, an actual factual counterspell we could find. Or Gear Hulk. But I kind of need two of those. So take three down to four. Question is whether I cycle the Supreme Will now. Or wait, how much mana do I have? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I can still cycle Supremal in my turn. Now creatures are indestructible, so we can't trade here. Okay, so now Supremal just needs to find Languish, and we're good. 12 cards, so... We're not favorites to find it, but we've got a good shot. Crippling fear is not quite enough. Does a gear hulk do it? Gear hulk epiphany is pretty strong. I think that might be enough. Counter spells two mana, and then I can still Gear Hulk. So I think we're playing the Watery Grave Tapped. Or do I need to Baleful Mastery too, perhaps? Yeah, I guess we'll play Forest just to be safe. Ideally, they cast that first. Yeah. So now I can Gear Hulk. Can even counter the trigger here. This is perfect. Spell, trigger, bounce, copy, draw. It's the full epiphany. Target a spell, approach. Trigger, elites, bounce, token. Copy, Gear Hulk, draw, me. Go for another... Oh, I guess it's Exile, so we can't do it again. But I can Heartless Act, the token. Alright, saved. Mastery can answer Elite. Get to untap with the Fairy Thrix. 10 cards remaining, so I do need to close out the game pretty quickly here. Opponents at 32. Opponent goes for an all-out attack. It's not going to work out. Going to put me to one. Could Baleful Mastery here. Seems fine. All right, and then now we probably start swinging with Crawling Barons too. Don't know if I have any fetchable basics left. Could also play Beanstalk Giants, but we do want to keep up some counter spells here. Second so swing for 20. Still have Thrix plus Counterspell. Yeah, it seems good enough. Mangara is fine. Can just exile it with the Fairy. All 
and a conclave tribunal is probably fine too. Eight cards remaining. If I don't have a plan, I'll just pick one up. And this way they don't get to draw a card. Could omen two to have a look in case I find removal, although I don't think I have many removal spells left. Alright, I guess Languish would have done it here, assuming I had a land left to fetch. Alright, we're on the draw, and yeah, this sounds fine. And then what's the Omen looking for? A thief of Sanity, I guess? Uh-oh. This is bad. Hey, hey, Sacrowing. Thank you so much for the 20 bucks. Very much appreciate it. That's very kind of you. Yeah, do we have any answers to Teferi's tutelage? Can bounce it, I suppose, and then try and counter it on the way back, but... It's gonna be tough. Yeah, I mean, for now we'll ramp. We do have commit memory, that's true, so that buys us an extra life, if you will. Alright, Mangara is fine, I suppose. Yeah, I guess the problem with memory is that they still draw 7, so they still mill me for 14 after we shuffle. So it's, it's not ideal. Feels like I just need to have a look here and try and find some answers. Oh, and those are not it. Intervention can kill Mangara. Um, if I had one more black I could Crippling Fear and Intervention for one, but I don't. So if the giant gets a plus one counter, we're kind of punished. So maybe just pass here. And then I can intervention end of turn. But time is ticking and... Yeah, it's not in our favor. Lifelink is fine. Probably have to wait until end of turn to... Cast my intervention. My Cloud Blazer is a good one too. It does die to Crippling Fear, so I could intervention Mangara. Let them draw, but it's also going to mill me for four. Probably going to disallow that. And then I don't want to play Sailor, do I? Well, there's a Commit Memory. I can commit the tutelage to bounce it and then try to cast memory in one fell swoop. Still not ideal though, so a Thrix might be a better play here to ambush and 
I guess the problem is in the mill the commit memory, so I wouldn't be able to to cast it. Hmm. I can still cast the memory half though, but yeah, can I deal 24 damage before they mill me? Probably not. So I think the plan will be to commit into memory. Yeah, I could drop both with Sailor, but that's my entire turn gone, and I don't think I have that luxury. So maybe this turn we Intervention Mangara. And then next turn go for the commit, untap, memory. And then do I want to do anything besides Intervention? Left Intervention for 4. Leaves me 2 mana, not enough to do anything other than Sailor. So I guess we'll Sailor. This is assuming they don't have a counter spell here. Do I take 5 or Intervention now? Probably take it. So I can do it for five. Let me tap manually. If they counter, do I still play Sailor? Probably not. Right, kill so I don't gain life. And then I can Crippling Fear on Pirates and then commit end of turn. Opponent foretells another card, so they're gonna get good value out of this commit, assuming it resolves. Or memory, I should say. They probably have a counterspell now. And that resolves quickly, so maybe not. So, probably fine to play a land first. Memory. And then have three mana left, can maybe play Thief of Sanity. Alright, so we get to play a new game. There's my Thief. Yeah, probably should have left up double blue. Would I have tapped out for Thief or, or played Disallow here? I'm not sure. Uh -huh, so Alrun's Epiphany was one of the foretold cards, makes sense. The other one might be like a Starnheim Unleashed. So Thief's gonna have a hard time connecting. Never mind, Doomscar. Probably wanted to attack first there. Alright, I mean, we kind of survived the tutelage. And now we have an answer for it in the form of Disallow. So, it could have been worse. I'm okay using a Languish as a one-for-one. One. Probably okay ramping some more. Although we need to keep up Disallow. But yeah, that works.
So it's like we restarted the game, except our opponents at 27, we're at 8. Archmage. Tempted to let that resolve, because I need to keep this alive for tutelage. And we have removal that can deal with Archmage. Compulsive research, sure. So our opponent gets to draw all the cards they want pretty much here. Just gotta fight over the cards that matter. And the more cards they draw before playing Tutelage, the less effective it becomes. Do I even care about mastery on Archmage? Archmage is also not a May ability, so it could actually be a detriment. We are at 8, so I can't take infinite hits. Yeah. It's not bad. Eh, probably still worth killing it now. Or maybe in their upkeep. They have a double blue up, could represent counterspell or just draw with Tome. If they draw with Tome, we'll kill it. I think I can still use the extra mana here. Alright, Brainstorm. Sure. So I've got 18 cards, put in 13, but about to put two cards back, so 15. And it could be setting up a tutelage with counterspell backup. I see, it's another one of these. Alright, first approach resolves. Second one we have to counter. Don't know if Beanstalk's good enough. Probably doesn't matter. Don't know if I fight over to ferry, probably not, but still worth playing. Problem is, if I want to attempt to ultimate, I'm going to be pretty close to decking myself too. Could also decline, but might need discard fodder for Teferi. Alright, got two counter spells up. Elspeth conquers death. Yeah, I don't think we fight over this. 
It's gonna make it difficult to resolve a bunch of counter spells on the second chapter, but they don't have their approach yet. So, sure. Plus on the way out. Try and find a gear hulk. Thrix is good too. Don't know if I need to keep aggro mauling. Looks like I'm out of time. Yeah, I could fight over Thrix, but again, it's not the card that really matters in the spot. So 12 cards to 11. We're decking first at the moment. Mangara we will kill. The fairy resolves. I think it's kind of a liability for them at this point. Let's make this quick. Yeah, we could use Mangara to deck the opponent too. Opponent discards elixir since that's not going to work for them. Problem is Mangara still kind of demands an answer just because of damage. So I think I do kill it now. If they activate the fairy once more, then they're decking first. Okay, Epiphany's good. Might still be better to go after Teferi. Conqueror's Death can get something back. They had some other creatures in there anyway, like the Crystalline Giants. Yeah, we can force a draw with Epiphany. Could also counter the Conqueror's Death trigger with a Disallow. Don't think that's worth it. Their opponent might go for the approach now. But now they've committed drawing a few extra cards, so if we can counter the approach, we're in business. Alright, so they've got how much mana untapped? Looks like five. So if I want an intervention, it's gonna be for three. Just wanna use my more expensive counterspell first. And Epiphany has more utility later. Memory lapse. So we'll let the. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter too much, but let's disallow the approach. Mangara triggers. Sure. Right, so there's still a tutelage we need to worry about. Point us down to seven cards. And we redrew intervention. Yeah, I guess we'll pass and take three. Don't know what the best timing for Epiphany is gonna be. But it might come down to us letting the opponent draw with Epiphany too. Alright, opponent's committing. They're gonna try and find their tutelage before the game's over. 
10 versus 5 cards. I can let them draw by casting 2 spells with Mangara and with the Epiphany, so pretty close to decking them. This card's Cloud Blazer, four cards left. Patient Rebuilding. Probably counter it. And there's a Tutelage. So I'll counter. And then, do I even want to draw? Probably, I still need to find an answer for Mangara. Could have also let the opponent draw, but alright, there we go. Now we should be good. So I can let them draw with Mangara by going Crippling Fear plus Intervention, just because. This is 7. Opponent draws, we gain some life. They have two cards left in library. And our opponent explodes. Oof, what a game. Managed to find a way to weasel our way out of a Teferi's tutelage. And we got there, seven wins. Yeah, had some pretty epic games along the way. But for now, want to thank everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.